Good evening, my friend. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Tangash, man. First thing, I want to tangash to you and the Phoenix Academy and everybody. You know? To so have two players from your team in the in the Gold Cup squad. So thank God to you and your whole team and coaching staff up at Phoenix. Wow. What a feeling, huh? It's a great feeling, see? Yeah, man. Going from people saying a kid not good enough for the under 20. Six months later, seven months later, in the Gold Cup squad. Wow. Signed to Chelsea. Wow. Very proud, um, very proud moment for Jamaica. Um, very proud to see the opportunity where we have Demarai Gray joining the squad as well. Um, we are truly, the Gold Cup squad is truly now becoming representative of what the quality that Jamaica can bring to our football pitch. And what I'm saying is this, is, is that we have wingers, strikers that are deadly and we have solid defenders, yeah? And for the first time, I saw the coach make an effort today to press, to press high press. And just imagine with a, 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 a bolstering of the personnel that is doing that high press, what it would be like. Yeah, what it would be like with a Michael Antonio up front, a press, a, 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 a Wisp on one side, a Bailey on one side, a Demarai Gray um, involved, a Bobby Rick involved, and a solid hole in midfielder pushing it down. I was listening to what you were saying about the wingbacks. And the thing is this, when you have deadly wingers that are offensive, sometimes by them by having overlapping wingbacks coming forward, it actually can affect the creativity of the, 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 those type of wingers. In other words, what happens when, for example, uh, uh, Leon Bailey is playing on the right wing, he gets the ball, and he cuts inside, and his right back runs down the right wing. So you agree with what, what me happened? I say to the people them? Because the people them I say them I agree. So you agree with what me I say it give them more space, Mr. Butler. No, but you're also opening up a, another can of worms. Where they because can get catch on the counter. Of, exactly, because best of breed now is not in position. Okay. Yeah? Now you have a you have a Leon up here cover right back. Mm. You get what I say? And it would be better. That is what you have when you, you don't have the super talent level that is there. No, it's really super talent. So, you know, mm. This is probably the best World Cup squad ever, you know. When you look at what we have, you know. Yeah? If Ethan Pinnock was able to make it, boy, trust me, with a nice... No, I mean, know, but, know, I'm just going to miss the first game. Yeah, but, you know, you know, with family situation and especially illness and those things, yeah. you don't know how long mm. it's going to take and you don't know what your head going to be like when he do when he does come because if I'm thinking about my family back home, trust me, can't think of nothing else, can't think of football. Mm. But hopefully everything will run smoothly and he will come back in. But what I'm proud of hearing from this coach, and that is why I kind of rate him, is that he's trying he, he knows that he has that um arsenal in his in his, in, his, in his pocket. In other words, that press arsenal where he can use a full team, full press, get more opportunities, win the ball high up the pitch, get more opportunities, take more shots, be more creative, you know? And, and, and what I'm really proud of with Whisper is Whisper, Whisper has shown what being a Jamaican is. The kid was pushed to go to Qatar and play for Qatar. But, look, 
Butler. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on. No, let me finish. Butler, hold on, man. And the kids stay. Hold on, the butler, butler, hold on. I play for a country. Butler, butler, man. Bro, agree. Yeah. Butler, hold on, man, my boss, man. Hold on, man. Don't bother go down the road, there, man. Load up, man. You're on a good term now. Don't bother go over the cross, this, man. Leave it. Stay up on track, brother. Don't enough. get distracted, brother. Listen, I am not distracted. I have never been distracted. Jamaica has always been first. Yes, but 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 Mr. Butler, you know more I ask you, more I ask you a serious question in the bridging. You don't think Richard's father playing part? I'm not going to go into that because there is more that I can say, but I will not say at this point. Yeah, man, everybody has a part, part man. Just don't this cut Everybody has a part to play man. part, but look. The youth reach a stage now, Butler. Just stay up on the right, positive. You know why you're going to cut brother? We spot play and play very well. Just come, the man. Just keep on the track, your brother. Listen, I am on the track, but, but you just need to understand, though, right? That what I'm saying to you, Ryan. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Me, I hear you, man. Yeah, what I'm saying to you is you notice I did not mention this first father. Yeah, but nobody mentioned because everybody okay. know the Qatar what team. What I'm just saying to much. you, no, no. What I'm saying to you is, mm -hmm. when Leon, I, I have, and I think I've probably sent it to you already. I have, right, where the English FA came for with, for, for um Leon and Kyle to play for England. Yeah? And we turned it down for Jamaica. Leon is a patriot as well. Right? Whisper is also a patriot. And it is something that we have bred into them from they were young at Phoenix. Because if you mention to any Phoenix, probably including yourself for the little time you were with us, the most important word at Phoenix is loyalty. Loyalty. One word. And we will never ever sell out our country and that is what that does yeah mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying right you yeah, understand okay yeah. so when i look at this squad that is there now and i see one two three four five six forwards and one of them is a 17 year old youth out of phoenix and the other is a 26 year old youth Veteran at 26. If not even 26 yet, it was 25 now. Virgin. We're 26 Virgin. this year. Listen, man. Listen, man. Nobody wow. come. Hold on, man. Nobody come with this veteran thing about Bailey. No. Bailey needs to step up more for Jamaica in a butler. And this are the goal cup we need for sure. And bring the country for them back, you know. Let me tell you this. And I want you to understand clearly. Leon's job is not to take Jamaica on his back. I am a Leon. Yeah, but listen. No, no, no. Listen. Listen. Leon has always been great. No, man. All come, have, on, no, that, man. Let, come on, Butler, man. Come on, man. No, come on, on Butler, man. Hold on, no, no, man. All right. When you're done talk, I'll allow you to finish. Go on, man. Have a thing go on, man. We start conversation work off of respect, right? Go on, go on, man. Go on. Let go me on. finish what I'm mm -hmm. saying. Leon has always been great. The question has not been whether Leon is good or not. Mm -hmm. The question is, has the system that he has played in allowed for his qualities to be properly utilized? And the answer is, the only time that ever happened prior to Hal Grimson is when Paul Hall said, he's going to build a team around Leon. That's true. I'll and in give those credit games, and in those games, that boy performed. He performed against Mexico. He performed. Give him the ball. Now, here's the problem that the rest of the world, the US and the man, they got now. You see, if you don't give Leon the ball, and you double mark Leon, you got to have a right grade. If you don't give, if you don't give them a right grade, you got to have a Bobby Reed. If you don't have a Bobby Reed, and when them, them run you to the rag to the ground, a whisper will come on and done you. Or it might just start and tire you out for the rest of them. The point is, now you have at least 
four solid wing players that are at a high, high level. Whisper is going to Chelsea, not Academy. First team. All right. But you have spot. But now, me, me ask you a question. Yeah, me. I don't call me about that. Show me the respect. Come here, I'm going to grow here. All right, Mr. Butler. Mr. Butler, coach Mr. or whatever Butler. you want. All right, listen, you, you're, you're, listen you, know, you know why I'm going to say Mr. Butler or Sir Butler? I think you've done great for Jamaica and what he has produced. And I like some of them, and I will just give them the coach, man, man. You, Like what you used to do. I'm not going to put on no, nothing upon some of them, man, the name. Because they're not nothing. So here me I say to you now, Sir Butler. Come. Mr. Butler, me hear you praise this team. But me have some concern about this team, you know. I really have a lot of concern. We look good going forward. Right? What do I mean? On paper. On paper, good squad. But we yet to perform as a unit. The last game we performed well against Mexico. We yet to turn up and do the right thing. I am worried. Who in the midfield like going to pass easy. the ball? Give, 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 give Bailey them. The midfield, I'm worrying about all the right. midfield. If I, all right, hold on now. If I were Hal Grimson, you know what I'd do? Mm -hmm. I'd have play. Remember, so them have a little trip point. They have about a half a week for train. Mm -hmm. from maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I would have set up, right? The team in a... a Four three three, right? Or a three four three setup, right? Mm -hmm. I have one of the holding midfield and then pull back in the defense when they are when they're defense. They have four in the back in defense, for um four in midfield and attack, and utilize a holding midfielder and given strict, strict, very strict um direct chance. When you get the ball, give it to the attacking midfielder. Now, you see the attacking midfielder, what you're going to use? You're going to either use, because remember, you know, Mikel Antonio is a good point man up front. You know? mm -hmm. See? I have Shemar, which is there too. You have um, Leon. I have Whisper slash Demarai Gray. And then you have Bobby Reed. You see if you can either play Leon as the second striker or that number 10 or Bobby Reed as the number 10. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What you'll have and you just tell the attack, the defensive midfielder and the, 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 way, the defender them. No matter side side back pass. Don't invite invite pressure. Do not invite pressure. Get the ball. Don't kick it long either. Get the ball. Get to the hole in. Holding gate to the attacking and the attacking just get it to the man then. You see, once you do that, brother, I get it to that top three and you have isolated 1v1. Nobody's going to stop Leon. Nobody, me can't tell you. Me not see them stop whisper either. You understand? Mm -hmm. And nobody not going to stop them arrive coming in. So you see, if you can get it to them man then and you just have the hammer them in the middle away from it. And if Leon them just get the cross, them are cut in and a shoot. This is what I'm saying. You have dimensions to this game now because of the, the people that you have. Mm -hmm. This squad cannot be a defensive squad. Any of them play side side back and try to defend and, and back off and, and don't press, they're going to lose the game. They have to push up, press, win the ball, them, tackling numbers. In other words, so if Leon going to press the wing back for the opposing team, Mikel Antonio have to come up and press from inside the back, the back press, the, the, the reverse press. And the, the, the attacking midfield have pushed right up and pressed it. So you have three men run down for him and take out the ball from him. We are faster than anybody else on the planet. That means that we are faster in the duel going forward in the dribble. But what people are not realizing is that we are also faster in defensive moving our feet. We are going to be faster tackling than a man dribbling can dribble enough. You get me? So if we play the game and press high, win the ball, then get in the crosses and finish them. Right? Mm -hmm. Make sure say um Shemar need to make sure say go take a salt bath. Just just when he reach a uh, reach a USA, just throw some Epsom salts and everything and just bait after mm -hmm. the cross. Because could I get some good cold one here?
Because it's not a, an up, it's that where he didn't get chances. Whisper set him up twice. One the header and the other one the point black range. See? Mm -hmm. So he just need to finish them. And Mikkel will also finish them on the body. So, so, so may I ask that question? cannot play. Can't play side side back. You, know, you understand what I mean when I say side side back? Bro. This is, and me, 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 I go put some little spin like that. And that's why I really like parallel type of football still. You, know? you see, that little yes, game they will play that against that Mexico. Is. You see, the game will play against uh, Mexico. You see, the game will play Suriname. Uh, you see, the game will play against Honduras. Uh, where the ball, uh, the, the midfield are not holding on to the ball. They just churning it to be early. They just churn it quickly. Play it quickly. At that, at that, always that that's always supposed to play. But one of the right. things that one of the things that Paul Al, Paul Al, him don't, him want you box the ball run at the back, just two passes, and then you put it to the striker. He need the man to tell Ravel, say, do not hold on the ball. Two! Control it and play it at the space. Yeah, but Ravel was a play it back holy, right? But in those games, Ravel never waste the time, right? The thing is this, right? The worst thing you can do with a team like this is to play the ball to the wing back. The wing back look up, and this is what they do in midfield all the time. They look up, look at you, and then put on their head and turn back the ball and play it back the other side. That's what I call side side back. You get the ball to the midfield or the wing back. Wing back look for you, and because I'm afraid to give the ball, because don't want you lose it, mm -hmm. him turn back and give it back around the side. So the man must start have some balls. One mm -hmm. of the things that people need to understand in football is this, right? When 11 players that are high quality go on the pitch against 11 other players of high quality, people are not going to be open wide just standing there free with nobody marking them waiting on the ball. People are going to have split seconds in which you have to make that pass as the midfielder. Right? You can't look up and put back down here. You have to just look up and play. You have to look in before the ball comes to you. And when you get it, play it to the man, whether it's to the feet or into the space. Take the risk. That is the problem with our midfielders. They're afraid to take risk and they're afraid. So they play the ball back around them. When we reach the defender, them now, the defender goes a boom and kick it long. Mm. And that doesn't help anybody because I was a center. And the sweetest thing you can do, you could have you see and bolt up their sprint or done quarry. Once you kick that ball long, I'm going to have enough time to adjust. And I'm facing the ball and his back is going to be turned. And I'm going to mm. outdate him every single time. But, but, but like, you know my concern, these are great, you know, but you know my concern with this team, not enough time together and match sharpness. We said pressing, because we no, did it today, no, no, just one no. on the man, we did it today in the button, right. and we run out of speed, we run out of, we run out of, we run out of energy, we start the game today, I pressing, and the first 25 minutes we do it, and then after we draw a walk. We know in a condition yeah, to play. See, we know in a condition, and that's well, why I didn't want yeah, everybody. Well, on the well, book, no man. Yeah, well, on the man. man. Right. You're the coach, you know, man. Yeah. Coach, when the high press, Virgin, when the team weathered a storm, right? When the opponents weathered a storm, the way are coming in the first 30 minutes, or you recover from that. That's my main problem, you know. I want to in the fitness right. to play. And that me have to talk about, let, you know. Let me, let me, all right, let me share with you, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, give me some time and hear me out though, right? We have to give the time, man. Go ahead. All right. When you're when you're a coach, there are two th couple of things you can do. A, you have something called triggers. You have a man that pull the trigger. You have a man. In other words, whether it is a striker, that guy say, okay, come press. And once he move, everybody move. Yeah? And he decide to go high, right? You can also do what's called a mid-press. So you back off and make them come little. And then once they reach a certain point, you press. That's all going to be up to the coach. But here's the thing, though, right? The best thing that they could have done for those players, Demarai Gray, Bailey, um, Lord, a whole of them, the best thing that they could have done was to give them the time off that they needed to be with family, to get some rest, right? And to breathe out there. No, head. man, Craig. I guess, man. Craig, no, me not agree me with that, man. No, no, no. Me not agree now. with that, let man. Me, me not let agree. Me fit let me finish. You don't have to agree, but just at least let me finish. So you hear the logic, right? 
So, you ready? Go ahead. You ready? Go ahead. All right. When you've played a long season, right, you start to get stale towards the end of the season. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Mikel Antonio played Conference League in addition to his season. Leon played the whole season and he come off injuries and whatever too. Right? Mm -hmm. Same thing with Bobby Reed. Same thing with um, um, Gray. Now, when those players get a week off, yeah, they only need three days to get back sharp again. You get to me and say that I want to. Also remember that everybody else who is going to be playing, we are going to be playing against that is of any quality. Whether it is um Captain America, what name again? The one who play for Chelsea. Him now play for Christian Policy. <laughs> yeah, whether it is him or whoever else. The point of it is, is all of those players are also playing at the highest level and they're playing and then the season long and then tired. Right? Me can tell you as a footballer and as a man that build players, let me ask you a question. Which body look tired in any match you might play with you? The first match? Yeah, but he need to run any back. Time? He need to run back. Yeah, but did he look yeah, but did he look tired? No, no, he was in condition. It was in condition. And in fact, if you really look at it, you look at many times, especially what is on the left side, he's all the way back down at his, his left 80 tackling. Yeah? Run down the man and tackle him, go down there. So. Now, his conditioning, yeah? We, I hear people talking about, oh, Ravel Morris do have a club, so I'm not a player, whatever. Whisper conditioning, a Phoenix conditioning, brother. Phoenix conditioning, not normal. A back to back. Six four hundred meter after I'm done training every day I'm up run. Phoenix man in my ass. And can't tire. <laughs> That's a one thing. Right? Second thing is, right? May I hear you have sir? these players. You see the freshness that we come back with all Ali and Bailey now. You see that freshness where him get him legs and rested. Him get them him get for soak clicking and some water. Him get for relaxed a little bit. Is it a freshness of mind? They'll be deadly. And is it that like mindedness that the wing of them and the four of them wear up? Because the whole of them in the same pool. Yeah? You're going to see something. You're going to see something that's not normal. I guarantee you. And me, I said this, you know. I guarantee you, said so that Gold Cup squad, yeah, they're going to be, be bilious. I hear the thing now. One time, Leon on the pitch. I lay on a run till 60, 70, 80, 90th minute. And when you look on the bed, it's the way you can put on for him. Nobody in the day. Right now, you have a look at you. Sit down on a 17 year old one, one machine. So, Leon can afford to put out 130% and don't hold nothing back for 70, 80 minutes. Because I know so the replacement will come on, will give you a solid 15, 20. You understand? Mm -hmm. I whether it is Whisper, I whether it is Demarai Gray, I whether it is Bobby Reed, it's all quality players. And I don't look a pure pure man. I come out of USL and them thing that I, I, I run up and feel I go and like say them, them them ready and them are playing against some inferior quality. These are players that are playing day in day out against the best players in the world in the prem. But you know, so Chelsea come down here the other day. I want, I, I want five more players from Phoenix. <laughs> I doubt it, but listen to what me I say. But like, okay. I worried for this team. No preparation with the key players. Them ready. You can talk all we want to talk from now till the morning. But I'm worried. You see the two games that we we'll play? We can't even put all five right. passes may together. Ask you a may I ask you a question? When Aston Villa, right? When Aston Villa got um, Unal Emery, Emery, yeah? And he came in. You listening to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much time did he have to prepare for his first game? Yeah, but, 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 but the team has been playing together. No, because the team that him put together, never they have played together. 
No, a man. Different system, different formation, different everything, the man. Do. Yeah, but them play Not together that different, but like, you just change if the, you you just are, the listen, formation listen, and listen, change one or two players. Listen, listen, listen. If you are a professional footballer, the first thing that you have to be, and I will tell you this for any young youth out there trying to develop, your first thing you have to be is coachable and malleable. In other words, the coach up can bend you in a man and say, listen, this is what I want you to do, and you can execute it. Right? Which one of those players have flaws? Those players that I just tell you up front, which one of them have flaws? Which one of them can't use them left foot? Which one of them can't use them right foot? When you have football, is like the game of chess. You see, if you have chess pieces that's supposed to be able to move a certain way, and they can't, that is when you have problems on the pitch. That is when a coach cannot execute what his, 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 his brain tell him to do. Right? If you have a Leon Bailey and Leon Bailey can play right wing, left wing, you can't, it, them, them know to move off the ball. They know no logic. So the coach says, listen, this is what we want you to do tactically. Right? If you're a professional, you can execute that tactic. Right. You get me? If you're not, if you're not, if you're not used to playing at that level and you come and you come from some team where you're, you're, any and any man can just go up and play now, then you're not going to be able to make it. But these are professionals. When you look at the, 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 the quality that is in this team, if I'm here say, listen, Leon, I want you to play attacking midfield. I want you to play withdrawn striker. I want you to play uh, I'm going to play right wing or left wing or center forward. You can do it. And of all those six strikers that you have there, sir, those six attacking players, every single one of them can do it. The only difference is Mikel Antonio tends to have more, more power in the middle of the pitch as a target striker. That's the only only man we wouldn't re revolve in that top five. You could have start five of them on there. You could start five of the six strikers that you have and put some of them in attacking mid positions and it would be better than, not, than, than, than benching some of them. May I tell you? Whisper can play attacking midfield. You do it all while well feeding. You understand? Well, listen, listen. As we say, you will me will. I may tell you, say this team, not enough. All right. You want another thing with me? Even when me a ball say not enough there. Right. You see the game we play against Mexico. Right. Yeah, me me ask this up as a friend. But we hear the question me ask you as a friend. You know, say you never win with me yet though. I always win in a round. What do you mean by never win? A trophy? Anything me say me I got to do. Or say I got to happen. It always happens. <laughs> All right. If I tell you say I got to sign Whisper in a Europe and I got to sign to one of the biggest clubs. Signed to one of the biggest clubs, but listen, listen if about that. Like, if they tell you, say, so we spoke in a gold cup squad, in, in a gold cup squad, <laughs> if they tell you, say, my perform good when him play, he perform good. If they tell you, say, Leon Bailey, right? I got, I got come back and destroy this and that over the years. We tell you, brethren, and every time we tell you that, that up, <clears throat> me I tell you, say, so that gold cup squad, yeah, I got mash it up, I'm gonna mash it up. I said, hey man, Lo, once him fit, you're going to see a different game. Because Damon is an attacking player. You understand? He's an attacking player. My love, my, listen, my love, be confident we have. And it's good to know that somebody who win the football have the passion where you have and see that there is light at the end of the tunnel with Al Grimsey team. Haven't win a game yet, right? We haven't win a game yet. But what I'm saying, but let's like, see the game against Mexico. Me not like me. I watch me. I watch another Mexico game like that. And the pieces were there. Yeah, the pieces were Just there. Imagine now. And then we have better. But we have more pieces now. Yeah, we have we have more pieces. We have more pieces. Me agree. We have more. Boy, I mean, I know about that. Me just think we not have enough. Let me ask you an honest question. Mm. Let me ask you an honest question. You know, realize, eh? you know, realize, eh? when you look at 
what is there? Leon Bailey, Aston Villa, Demarai Gray, Everton, Shamar Nicholson, Spartak, Moscow, Mikel Antonio, West Ham, Corey Burke, New York Red Bulls, and Dujan Richards, Phoenix All Stars <laughs> Football Academy. <laughs> you don't realize that you're posting the one they play for. But, nah. But yo, listen, Virgin. <laughs> you see, uh, you see, like, yo, I'm proud that they were, I'm proud that they were bad buster. I'm proud of Lee. I'm proud of his father. I'm proud of the coach. Cause but, the coach has some balls. I'm tell you. Hey, Butler, me, me, I bring you back to this point in the Butler. Me, I bring it. Me, see, like, oh, you applauded the coach. More, I have that same energy I right through the coach, really, you know. Listen, as. As long as that coach has the guts to stand up, <laughs> right? And he has. Because every move he has made, every step he has made, but whether it is a Phoenix player or whatever, or just to do the right thing, we have never let him down. Never, ever, ever. Mm. Whisper, perform. Whisper, suppose the man supposed to proud at you. He perform. He don't look like a 17-year-old playing with big man. Mm. You look like a big man. All right. Hey. But uh, so Just pick, imagine. So you know, pick. hold on. You know, say, hold on. You know, say, Leon and Whisper has been trained the same way. You know, say, them understand one another without even having to play together. Mm. And the same way them build. The same training, the same movement, the same running. Everything is the same way. Or the same man build them. I want man be lemon from 12 year old, them two of them they have Phoenix from them little. So them do him have to look for one of them, know the run them, them know the pass them for me. Mm -hmm. Me like, me like when you're happy, you know. I love to see when you're happy, Bridget. So me just, you see, all of the things you tell me what come to, say, he's going to the Gold Cup squad, that and that. Me just hope my rank for now on here. Me da, boy, me, it's like when you're so excited and dry, full of joy. Say the team are do well. I saw a someone come when we play against the United States. I'm full of joy. I'm full of passion. Yeah, you your passion you are tonight. And how happy you are. All right. Suppose we tell you, say. Suppose we tell you, say. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Man. Suppose I tell you that we're going to beat the US. You think predict so? it tonight. Yeah. I'm not tell you the score, but we're going to beat the US. And the US, are going, the, the US, they, they're not going to know what to do. Mm. You know who named Leon Bailey you? <laughs> I just saw him alone, I carry the fire, you know. Hey, I'm alone, I carry the torch, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yo, make, make sure the unicorn meet you come sell me, because you say you come and cheer me up, brother, tonight. Make sure you say them things I come to you, know, brother. I'm going to sell you unicorn, I'm going to sell you unicorn <laughs> meat, baller. I don't sell you unicorn meat. <laughs> People, man, convince me, people. I'm not lying. Convince me, but what I'm going to know about that. I think, I think, I don't know. You see that Mexico perform there. You see if Jamaica can play to that level there. Right. Team dead. Right. You know the Phoenix man, them? You know the Phoenix man, them, say? You see, if Coach tell you, say, X hour, X R Z, you better back up, you know? Mm. Because Coach have a goat mouth. Yeah? That is the other country. I will tell them, say, lock the window. Mm. Because mosquito are coming and get one on a dengue. Mm. You know, say by the next morning, in case you have dengue. Mm. Next morning, you have to carry go hospital at Port Antonio. Mm. Boy, you Craig, understand? Craig. You have to believe, brother. Craig. Believe. <laughs> the whole country need. Listen, you see energy? A man just pointed out. You see energy? You have to believe in the youth, then, brother. Mm. You have to believe in them. You have, them have to feel it. Mm. The whole the man and fill up the stadium of the US. Go fill it up and support them. I make them feel it. Say so you believe in them. Hey, me I tell you something. Me raise Leon Bill. You see that energy? You see once him have that energy, the brother? I vibes him work out, brother. Hmm. Once you give him the energy, he can work. What that? I mean, I tell you, if it's anything do John Richards is, he's a competitor. Hmm. You see the facts, I'm about five men were better by them people are said more advanced than him. Ray, Ray, Ray. Can you can't say they better, but you can say they're more advanced than him. He might prove, he might prove. He, he may go prove it. He might show some belong out there. 
Mm. That size 13 boot, they're going to slap some ball, see, brother. I tell you. I tell you, when you look really at the midfield, we just have some man, whether it be Russell or, or, or and so just put somebody. If me, if I was him, I'd have put Jalan and Russell in the holy midfield, right? And put Bobby Reed and Daniel Johnson. Make Daniel Johnson burn the clan tire that come off. Put Bobby Reed at attacking midfield and make him tread the needle to, to the man up, 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 up front, brother. So, all right. So, so I'm going to help you. So, give me a best delivery for start against the US. Give me a best delivery. So, I can help you out. So, I'm Bella, left back. Me. All right, go and pick your team. Pick your team. Pick your team. Well, of course, Damon Law have to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, Ethan not there. And um, Taxi, I don't know how Taxi stay. So, I'm Bell with a start from the left back. Yeah. It have. Uh, it have, right, um, back. Dexter played at the Mexico Dexter game. Could have, could have, Dexter could have got a lot the right back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have Damian, right? Yeah, you might want to take Russell and put Russell in you know, the center position with um, with um, thing there. But coach, now nah, I gotta do that, you know. Coach, I gotta play Maria Park. I believe in him. You know, think he's so great. What you feel, you think you the coach, I gotta play him, but you think. think all right, listen, listen, listen to what I think. When you have a, def a central defender that may not be very fast, what you do is you don't play deep, you play high. And then you make this, the, the goalkeeper play like a sweeper keeper. So you mark bad man to man tight in the back, right? So you force them to kick the ball over Fim running down. And when you do that, you just have um, Blake around there. Mm -hmm. Blake, yeah, the, like Blake, you know, say a sweeper keeper, mark a sweeper keeper. Anything come over. I in that, hmm. see, and then I would have look at in the in the midfield. I would have play Bobby Reed in the midfield, right? I'd have play um. I'd have play. I'd have play. Um. Leon at attacking midfield, right behind, behind um. Michael Antonio. Yeah. I'd have looked to bring in Demarai Gray. I wouldn't start him. Yeah? You would have started him? Um, no. I'd have bring him in. Um, no, I'm going to start him. I can start him. But the thing is, I don't know the synergy. We have Leon. Leon up front, Leon. Um, Mikhail. Demarai. Um. Me that play with Spider Man. No, man. Me, no, no. That is too much attacking, brother. We are going to whisper. Come on, bro. Stop it fooling this, so, Craig, man. So hold on there. 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 So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. And this is the question I've always asked people. Here's the question. You ready? <laughs> Craig. <laughs> All right. Let me, how has, listen up, listen up. How has One Love Wins been working for us? Answer the question, Craig. Over the last five years, answer the question now. Just and work with me a second. Follow me through. How has one love wins been working for Jamaica over the last five years? Has it worked out well for us? No. Now we get our asses at the tournament on a platter. <laughs> two one, three one, two love because we are playing defensively. I would prefer to win four one, five two, six three. <laughs> I would run that risk. I would run that risk of having a one goal or so score against me and score back four. You understand? I would run that risk until we're in a position where we settle. <laughs> right? Yeah. A better you use, you have Damian Low, offensive minded defender. He will pick the pass. Maria Pav sent. Right? Amari Bell, good. Dexter, good. So you have your back four this up. Right? If you want to drop in Jonathan Russell, you know, the holding midfield, Bobby Reed, Zane, and Leon Bailey. Right? And then you have a Shamar Nicholson and, um, and, um, Whisper for the bench. 
No, I shall marry the cops and Michael to Michael Antonio up front. Mm. Yeah. So, so yeah, switch your formation and again. I would, I would, my my position that I would, my formation that I would have played, you know, is that 3 4 3, you know. Mm. But coach now take a risk, say. He might play four. Mm. So if you play four, what you have to do is you have to play four plus four and give one man free room, like you don't give Bailey the free room. Mm. So Leon can go up on the right, can go up on the left, he can come behind the center for them. And he run the play, run the play them through him. Mm. And Bobby Reed. All right, let me tell you. And then you put them right here on one wing, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't, one thing Whisper has shown is that he's not, he not intimidated by no level of ball. Whisper not intimidated by play with big man. He's not intimidated and play against USA. Whisper play against Aston Villa and beat them and score four goals against Aston Villa. Whisper play against Genk and score three goals against Genk. Whisper play against Crystal Palace. I score four goals against Crystal Palace. Whisper playing at England and I done the whole of the man them academy club then. Whisper go out training at Newcastle and done them and show up and make the first team man them look bad. Whisper go out Chelsea, the man they love him. Chelsea man them come down there, so they love him. Brother, me not a problem with the youth that start. <laughs> I don't want to have a problem. Great. How much man this, how much man was saying when I was talking? How many hold on? Now? How many people was saying that? Whisper are ready for big man football. It. A Premier League at Jamaica if we can play. How much fun they answer that? Answer the question there. Including you. <laughs> my friend was saying, Whisper are ready for big man football, my little boy. If we can play Premier League for a year or whatever. And Chelsea, the man got. Craig. Chelsea first team. <laughs> one of the biggest club in the world. Craig, talk about. listen to me now, man. Listen, hear my team. Here's my team. Here's my team. And this is where. Let me hear. So here's my no team. Andre Blake in goal. Mariapa. Yes. And yes. Damian Lowe. Yes. Amari Bell and Dexter. Midfield. Yes. Russell. Daniel Johnson. Two in the holding midfield. Yeah, Bobby Reed as the number 10. Right? Floated right around there. You have Bailey. You have Demari Gray and you have Mikel Antonio. I bring Whisper off the bench. After Bailey, them run them, brother. Yeah, Ben Shamar. Yes, Shamar after still on the bench, brother. So, All right. I don't have a problem with what you say out of respect mm -hmm. for the man them are dead. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. So yeah? That's my team. I bring it up, on, I bring it up on the, 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 okay. the screen. Yeah. Out, out of respect. I would not. The only thing I do is I'd not put Jonathan Russell to on the left side and I put him in the middle. Mm. Yeah. Because he ha he can he can add more defensive work the work than um, Daniel Johnson. Remember Daniel Johnson is an attacking midfielder, I mean, he's yeah. not a defensive midfielder. Yeah, switch him, switch right. him and put him, put yeah, put him over this. Put put him in the middle. Yeah, I mean I mean. Yeah. And and put just play what you do is you don't play uh uh uh, uh, uh what you call in Europe a uh, eight, a uh, six, and a uh, ten. So, the six, which would be the holding midfielder, would be Jonathan Russell, right? The eight would be the Daniel Johnson, which is a box to box midfielder. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have the Bobby Reed, who'd be the number 10 that worked behind the man. Hmm. You, I would put Leon on the right because that's where he's most deadly. <laughs> and because if he's the man, if I play that in position, so I'm not happy to go up on the left. Hmm. And put them a right friend over up on the left and then start and can rotate from this one. Hmm. Right? And then you play all of your ball them off of Mikel Antonio. Get the ball to, to, to Bobby. Bobby, get the ball to Mikel. Mikel, roll it through the space of them a right. Or for Leon. Or play to Leon's feet and Leon and Bobby. They, I, I, what we want is isolated 1v1s. We want the wing of them get the ball them versus a one, a one wing back. And they see them ever choose to double up, and they say them in a problem. Because you know? see them double up on Leon, all Leon need for them is cut it and switch it over to them, all right? And they're going to have one B, nothing. Mm. You get me? Because the whole pitch would have to switch. So that is where I see the, the, the benefit. And what we do is to have the wing backs providing more supportive roles, not overlapping roles, but supportive roles. In other words, if you need a release pass, 
them turn and play to them and them whip it over the next side. Yeah? But in football, you want to have a best of breed situation. And what I mean by best of breed is this. Is Leon Bailey, Whisper, or Demarai Gray best at tracking back and covering the wing back them and the wing back them try to cross the ball? Are the wing backs better at crossing the ball than Demarai Gray and Leon Bailey? No. Best of breed would require that Leon Bailey is the man taking on the man them and across the ball and Demarai Gray are cutting and shoot. And the wing back them a hold the defensive position. Yeah? Mm. That is how you work. If you see Phoenix play, now, Phoenix use two defenders. Now. We don't use wing back again. Now. Because our wing back them, all our wing back or all our wing players are being prepared to go and play professionally as wingers in Europe. So we have two wingers on each side of playing. Now. And then press you high up the pitch. So the only thing you can do is cut the ball. Mm. If, if, if coach was ever to evolve to that level, we would have a whisper and a bailing on the right side and say, um, uh, no, uh, man. Uh, but, uh, like, Sham- listen, up. a shamar and a demarai, and then pressing high up there. And you kick out the ball, I have a man like Damian Lowe, no ball can't beat him in the air. Hey, but hey, that's a, but that's like, a new that's a level it, of, of development. <laughs> That the national team don't reach it. They have to come check Phoenix. We show you. Listen, listen. I, may I tell you this, brother? You because you are the agent for Whisper, and me have a problem with that. They are selling player, but for the better for the team. No, no, man, but like, I can't have your brother. Would we'll not start him. I bring him off the bench, Bridging. No, but I agree with you. I'm not fighting. Okay, 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 okay. I'm yeah. agreeing with you. I'm saying when you evolve. Yeah. Say six months to a year from now. Yeah. All right, let me ask you a question. Six months to a year from now, when you have Whisper play at Chelsea and a start and a dominate, and Leon a play at Aston Villa and a start and a dominate, and Demarai Gray and a start and a dominate, and our next young youth to come out of Phoenix, right? And a play and a dominate, and wherever else. What are you going to do? You go and show all of them same way and, a, and a give them 20, 20 minutes? When that time comes, we'll talk about that. that. <laughs> What I'm, so what I was telling you is that mm. the evolution of the football mm. should be that Jamaica plays with three in the back. Three at the back. The evolution that it should be that you play with three centre up in the back. And mm. you play high. Yeah. And you get an extra winger and an extra attacking player that you can push forward. Yeah. And you press hard. Yeah, because and you push your fitness level. To where it is, not, it should be. You understand? Yeah. And you press hard and you, you get the games. All right. In other words, can you imagine if you had a 3 4 3? You know what a 3 4 3 is? All of them. Th- all you of them. seen it before? Yeah, brother, but you're going to need, need time for the pitch, Craig. I think, yeah, me think, me think yeah, you know your vibes, but you're going to need time for the pitch, brother. Time together and it's to play together. Just hopefully we can find that farm in the Gold Cup. Because we always try to build a team in the Gold Cup. That, that, my friend, will never happen. The only way that can happen, and this is something that I want you to think about, my friend, right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Think about this. The US, Germany, Belgium, Spain, all of their national team players have the same amount of FIFA Window. organized freedom and time. They don't have more than us. Nobody has time to build a national team. When the national coach is there in Jamaica, you know, all he really can do you know, is walk around and look at players. You know, because most of the players that he need, they are in playing in the Premier League. And all the time get them is for a week or two before the, sea, before the game. That even a week, seven days is the international window normally. So, the only way you can have that time is if you create the systems at the youth level. And that's why I like the fact that they bring in the guy here named John, my assistant, mm-hmm. because that guy is in charge of the U20. And that guy is trying to put him system together so that when the youth them transition and they go either overseas or they got into and they've been called back to the national team, they will remember the system that he wants them to play and they'll fit in and it will be seamless. Mm. Right? 
What I want to do is to give them my model. Because if you use my model, nobody can stop you. Because it, it's utilizing speed, technique, creativity, and tenacity. Yeah. But look, right? but look, I want you to hold your point because I have my guests come on and thing. You know. So, good evening, Gunners. What's up? What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, man, me there, man. What are you taking from the conversation with me and Butler? Me, me still live on the road. I mean, Butler will always market his players, and that is something good. But he, Butler also has a very a valid point, also, based mm -hmm. on the formation and, and the players that he's selecting. Mm -hmm. The reality of the situation, judging by the two games, if, if, if Craig is starting Leon and Bobby Reed in the midfield, based on, on the two games, we are left with Bowser, Corey Burke, and, and Paris to play on that right side. And I don't think they had a better out in now, Whisper. So he, he does have a point to, to, to throw Whisper in over there on the right side. Okay. Um, that being said, my team would be a little bit different. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't start Whisper. I would have him as an impact player. Because, you see, the, the thing about it is Whisper's... One of Whisper's best position is also... Leon Bale is best position. Mm -hmm. And I cannot start right. with Whisper over Leon Bale. So this coach, right. I've seen him play a 4-4-2 before. I don't like the 4-4-2. But if he's playing a 4-4-2, uh, the back four, we agree on the back four. Mm -hmm. Bale, Dexter, Lua, Mariapa. Right? Um, I like Latibody here in the midfield. I like Latibo here in the midfield. Hmm. Um, so if it's a, if it, if it's two, I would go with Latibo there and Daniel. And Demari out left, I would put Bobby outside right. That's right wing, and I would have Antonio up front, and I'd have Bailey directly behind Antonio. You know, so say would, that, that be so, good. So, Bailey all up, uh, but Mikel all up on the speed of Bailey. Cause he played that similar role at Aston Villa. At Ast I'm giving him his role at Aston Villa, exactly. So that's exactly what I would do um, if I'm playing a 4 4 2. Um, if I'm using a different system, I'd use a 4 2 3 1. So that, with that now, I would keep the back four, but instead of DJ, I would have played um, Russell with Latibo there in the midfield. And then the three behind Antonio would be Bobby Reed, um, Demari Gray, and uh, Leon Bailey. And I'll let all three of them just play fluid behind Antonio because I would have the cover of Russell and Latibo here in the midfield. So that, that is how I would probably nice, that, that, that sounds good. Game. That sounds like a good formation still. So that, that is how I would set up the team. Yeah. But you have some valid points still. You have some valid points um, for being full still. Yeah, I, I, I like. Yo, Ryan, how much time I'm telling you, I have for being full of two different smart in my youth. You know, there's a mix of the two of you, you know. For being full of mad man. <laughs> Go on. I'm mad man. <laughs> I do me, man. Big, big up myself for being full, but no, you know, there's a mix of my youth. For being full, sir, brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 like, you want to jump in back? You agree with you yeah, agree I with think, the caller. I, I agree I agree with what he's saying. Um, mm -hmm. especially for these games and this tournament with what he has. Mm -hmm. Um the only the important thing is I noticed Russell wasn't playing the balls back a lot. He was trying to get the balls forward to the attacking player. So yeah, that's that's not a problem. The problem that I would see though is that we would need to get those balls going forward. Not long balls, but play to the, 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 the holding mids and the holding mids get them to, to Leon. The key, the linchpin in that would have really be would have be a Leon and a, um and a Bobby, you know? And Bobby can struck them from, from them distance to say is is that a situation where we'd have a challenge. What I'm saying is the options that we have on the pitch would would put opposing teams in positions where they, if you mark if you double mark one, you leave one open, you know. So that is that is the question. How would they solve it? And the only way they'd solve it is by trying to press us high early, so we don't get the balls to Leon and to, to Bobby and to Demarai, 
You understand? I have to go long ball to open to play off of Mikel Antonio. And that is where we would have a problem. And that is where I'm most afraid because sometimes our defenders um, are scared to play through the midfield because they're afraid to lose the ball. Yeah? They have to be brave. I'm not telling the ballers, if you're not listening, make sure you're not listening. You have to be brave and give the ball to Chippy. Give the ball to Gray. Even if a man on him back, give it to him. Chippy will find a way to turn him uh, and then will get full of foul or something. But do not play the ball side side back and play it and invite the man to pressure you. Play the ball to the hole in, hole in, find them forward quickly. Not long, but connect the passes. Like when you play, you know, you play um, connect the dots. When you draw, connect the dots and uh, so a picture come out. Connect the dots, man. Connect the dots. Don't try to go to from one to eight directly. Go one, two, three, four, five. Get it to the holding mids and the holding mids play the ball for it. And press I. We're fast and stronger. Defensively as well as offensively. So we should utilize that. That's how I see it. That's all. Yeah. And yes, I agree that at this time, if they want to pull with power for the bench, no problem. Okay. Because I'm sure when you come on, we add to the, the dimension. Yeah. Great. You know? Wonderful. Just Wonderful. don't pull off. Just don't take off Leon P. Because I want not going to sweet me more than to say chippy and whisper at the pitch at the same time. <laughs> I think I would have died and gone to him and come back. Hey. Hey, Jim, you come know? to me. What do you mean, man? You know, I had me working on a boiling Sunday with them two boys. Eh? <laughs> day in, day out. Guna, yes, oh, oh, hey, oh, where have you said about Butler um, and him? Yeah. In, 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 oh, happy him or happy him to see him two players from the academy in the team. Hey, Ryan, I have to remember, you know, enough beating Butler get both whisper, you know. Yeah. Remember, remember see how far Butler come from the whisper, you know, where people are saying, oh, you know, good, him, you know, him need to go play schoolboy football and him play one season and mash up schoolboy football, him say, he need to go play Premier League and remember one time whisper do an interview and whisper say, oh, after schoolboy football, me gone, you know. Gone in my father, and him get beaten feet, and him really gone. So, you have to understand where, where, where Butler come from. A whole heap of smart it out, Butler. You know, see, see, Butler have to make Whisper play schoolboy football to prove how Whisper good enough. So, you have to, you have to, and, you know, Butler, Butler supposed to have a smile right now from ear to ear every day. Whereas, when he, when he, when he see Whisper in the Jamaican colors, he's supposed to have a smile ear to ear after a whole heap of people tell him, say, yo, him too young, him too this. I'm not of that view. Me just feel say if you're good enough to play, you you should play. Whether you are 12, 15, 16, you're supposed to play. So me know Butler and Butler market his players very, 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 very well. You realize Butler take Leon off of the wing to put Leon in the number 10 role, we put Whisper out there. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you realize that. You might take nearly half of the wing. No, 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 put no, 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 no. And I'm Aston Villa rule. No, 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 no. We need Whisper. Yeah. But you know, say one of the things with Butler Marquis strategy, you know, say Guna, you know, say one of my kind of easier for, for beating Butler with, with this thing or hyping up the player. You know, say a couple of regular boys, big regular boys player say to me, say, Ryan, let me tell you this. He's right with how he must sell the players because the man them say, you're straight up, Ryan. If Butler was my agent, and that them on the agent rap with Real Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah, that's why I tell you, you can't beat him. He's doing job and he's very good at it. Can't, and, hey, hey, like him or hate him, he's very good at what he does. The man says a marketing strategy Mr. Butler used. So, the, the, the past the okay, boys, the man him say, Ryan, I wish a Butler was my agent because I play for Barcelona and Liverpool and them team there. Because the way we market the player them. So from them thing that I kind of understand and learn. So when they hear him tell you, say, oh, put Butler in the number 10. Put Bailey in the number 10. Put, put yeah. Whisper out on the left hand side. So you see, still <laughs> like, find a final place to put him player them in the team. But as you know, so one interview, I think last time Butler come on the show and him say, Ryan, I make me kind of have a look on the thing a different way. A lot of people probably don't like it. But when me get to understand what him say, Ryan, when me say Butler, I hope. You know, start turn against this coach, you know. And him say, Ryan, my job is, no matter the cost, is to always talk for my player. That's what I get paid for. So, 
when me hear him understand and say, you're right, me and the coach have, yeah, me and him have a good relationship, but that no means say, to me have a good relationship, me can't talk, say my player for day in there. So I kind of get a little bit of understanding and especially speaking to a lot of the people, them, some of the, the players, them that play at the highest level. And me get to understand, say, yo, that's how Buckler do for market, market the players, them and thing, brother. You understand? You have to understand now, Ryan. You have... Ryan, do you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you, man. But let me explain something. Remember, you know, when I went to Europe, you know, I never know nothing about market play or nothing like that. You know, they just have a dream you know, and believe in you, you know. mm. But what people don't know is I went and spent time with Dimitri the Conde, the head of Genk. You understand? I spent time with George Mendes, Cristiano Ronaldo manager. Pini Zahabi, Neymar manager, Carl Heinz, Ruminiga, Bayern Munich. God, you see when I see them on there, brother? And that's what I like with Jamaicans and a whole. Every man love run them out with me. You see when me meet all of them and then them on their talk? Guess how, guess what I do? I just squat, shut them out and say, thank you for the advice, my boss. Tell me more, please. More, I learn more. I say, as a result of that, I know how to market and build connections. I've also known to build my players. And let me tell you one thing, you'll never find it. If I don't believe in a player, if I don't believe in him, I will never push him. And you can check any Phoenix, but they will tell you, say, see, coach, don't believe in him, brother, but they go through the gate. I look for him. But you see, if I believe in him, me go to hell and back. But it's not just about marketing strategy. It's about knowing that the player is good enough and believing in that player and inspiring that player. A lot of these people don't stand up for them, mute them. A lot of them, all right, all you see me at all, right? You don't send a message to Chippy already and say, yo, I don't want to put it somewhere before you cut it up. I'll put it somewhere before you cut Come on, you're ready when you go. Yeah? The important thing is you must push your players as hard as you can and but at the same time, believe in them and fight for them with your soul, brother. You're not dead for any one of my players, you know. In a heartbeat, you're not free. You're not face a gunshot. I'm not a problem. I got hype. But believe in them. And more importantly, believe in the destiny of Jamaica. You don't understand. We can have the fastest human beings on the planet in a sport that is now utilizing speed more than anything else. And we know up there. How? It's because you don't have a system, you don't have a developmental model so that the man them can understand one another. So when they come back and play together, they understand what their roles are. You can take Leon and put Leon attack in midfield, put Whisper at, at, at 10, put him back out up on the right, switch them round, and nothing will change. You'll know exactly what they're supposed to do. All the coach have to do is tell them, and then we execute it for him because they are. They've been trained and developed to be coachable players. If you look at everybody else on that pitch, you know, you see that pitch where you have there, sir? Apart from Damian Lowe, right? Everybody else is developed overseas, you know, in overseas academies, you know. Mikel Antonio, Demarai Gray, Bobby Reed, Jonathan Russell, Daniel Johnson, Mari Bell, Adrian Maria Park. Dexter Lambisca, the only person on that team outside of Leon Bailey, right? And if Whisper was there, Whisper, that is developed in Jamaica, is Damian Loeno. You realize that? Mm -hmm. And Andre Blake, too. So, and Andre Blake, but Andre Blake is a goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah? If you look at it, they are talking about systems, right? you look at it, those are all malleable, coachable players that have come up in academies and understand what it means to be developed properly. To use both feet, to play both sides of the pitch, to dribble with both feet, to pass, to think both sides of the pitch. Why is there not right now a Tyreek McGee in that squad? There? It's one reason. Uh, he never developed properly if you use him right side. Is there any other youth that didn't get that development from early? You would be there. Because when you look at it right now, 
If you had a, a Maggie that could have split the passes, it would be great. But the only problem is Maggie can only split the passes one side. Because only left foot going to use my cut off on the right side. If I look at the right, left side, cut off it and play the pass to the left foot. So what you need in this nation is a proper developmental system from the JFF, bringing in the best young players every weekend, two times a week, under 15, under 17, under 19, right? Best young players from all over the country, from all over the club. Don't take more than two from any one club on a weekend. Bring them in. Show them how you want them to play. Show them the systems that you want them to play. Send them back to them clubs and make them impart that to them clubs. And when the players come back as a pool, you'll, you'll, you'll get it. It's like, it's like you say, okay, I'm going to 